Good morning, and what a lovely morning it is. The weather hasn't let us down, so uh, we're off to a good start. I'm quite excited about today's hike. Um, we'll give you more info about that in a little while. But I'm just going back to the van, trying to get Dora out of bed so we can start the day. We slept loads better last night as well. Don't know if it's because we were in this quiet wood um, it was much more peaceful, or whether we were just completely knackered from the, the walk we did yesterday afternoon. Either way, we slept loads better. So I think we're all refreshed and ready to get cracking today. So let's get her out of bed and let's get started. Right, we're off. We're out the van. Dora's kitted, kitted outlook for the hike ahead. So, I can never remember the name of this place we're going to. What's it called? Tarn House, Tan House, Tarn House. I don't know. Anyway, ideally we would drive some of the way and walk the rest. But we've had a recce and there's no car parks that we can fit in. So we're having to walk from the site. Um, it's a glorious day, as you can probably see, and it's going to take a little while, mainly because whatever the, the suggested time is, we need to triple it because we keep stopping and videoing and taking pictures of sheep and talking about sheep and everything. Oh my Christ, look, talking of sheep, one sec. Are you okay? Are you a bit? Well. Right, so Dora's now the sheep whisperer. Oh, she's panting. I don't know if we need to find out who the farmer is. No, oh, she's that's off. it. She's up. Good, we can move on. This oh. is why it takes us so long. Come on, carry she's on. She's checking out my lamb. She's okay. Good, good. Let's, let's carry on. Right, we'll catch you hopefully a bit further down the trail. Point two kilometers in. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. It's warm. It is warm. We like it warm. Right, we're just leaving Coniston, heading out of town. Fingers crossed we're on the right way. If not, it's going to be a long day, like yesterday. So it's 10.45, the sun really is starting to beat down now. Are you getting warm, love? I am. Yeah, look, Dora's there, look, she's setting the pace. Go on, Dora. She's setting the pace hard this morning. <sighs> just past the coffee shop, trying to ruin all my fun, said we didn't need to go in, so we just walked straight by. So I'm not entirely happy about that. This is the trouble you see. I stopped for two seconds to video. Check it. And, uh, and she runs off. No interest at all. Oh, that's better. Thank you. Look, we're only a quarter of the way. You can't drink that much. What a stupid Thanks cow. It. Over there, look. Look at them. Look. Stupid cows. Should be in the shade out there in the sunshine all day. They're going to get sunburn. Come on, let's carry on. Right, so we've reached the bottom of Coniston Water. On the top? Uh, no, I think it's the bottom, it's south. Yeah. Yeah. So we're about to deviate away from from the lake. Um, hopefully, inland. Inland. We're not the coast, are we? Um, 
you know what I mean, away from the water to where we're headed. So, um, but what a beautiful sight right at the bottom here. Lovely blue skies, gentle water. Why don't you go for a swim? Oh, I've got my bloody shorts, haven't I? Just uh, go in your pants. <laughs> right, ridiculous. <laughs> Let's just carry on. Now how are you going to get down? <laughs> um, right, see you later. Help me. See you later. Help me. I know I've got things to do, love. I'll help see you. See you later. Unbelievable, right? Gets in this situation, thinks I'm going to bail her out. Who are you calling, love? Oh, I'm just calling somebody who cares. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. Yeah. Only joking, love. Of course, I'll give you a hand. Oh, I can't get down that way. Well, how did you get up there? I got up around the back. I might be able to reverse off. Oh, crikey, I'll keep the camera on because it's... Right, is he stable? He's stable. Yeah. Oh, he's not ready. Right, let's assume that this one is. Right. Um, right, right. Okay. What's going to happen now? Jeez. Carry me. Oh, God. Carry me. Carry me. <laughs> oh, Thanks, darling. There we go. Come on. I think that's my back on. <sighs> Come on, let's go. Come on, Dora. We've made it. There she is, look. Dora. What are you thinking of uh, Tarn House? Wow, it's, uh, it's really pretty. Yep, yeah, 6.2 kilometers later, here we are. So we're gonna have a wander around, but we have about five minutes sitting down first, and then we'll head on in a clockwise motion, according to Dora. I think so and do the loop around the town. Whilst we do have our five minutes rest, look what we've got. We're not getting caught out, are we, love? No. So we're... Not getting low on energy this no, time. No, we're blending in with the locals. Also, <laughs> I'm sitting on my coat, which is really slippery on this bank, and I am sliding down. But um, yeah, we're gonna crack open the Kendall Mint Cake to replenish all the energy we've lost on the way up. And then we're gonna be like a couple of dynamos around the outside of this path um, to, to go have a good look at the area. But let's get this done first. So, Romney's Kendall Mint Cake was the first mint cake be successfully carried up to the top of Mount Everest in 1953. So Edmund Hillary um, ate this mint cake on top of Everest as they gazed at the countryside far below and since then Kendall mint cake 
has been a firm favourite with hikers, climbers and visitors to the Lake District. Not a lake, Tarn House was artificially made by damming marshes and smaller bodies of water altogether. Its actual name is High Low Tarn. Tarn House means hill by the lake. Tarn was once owned by Beatrix Potter, who gave it to the National Trust. Right, we're pretty much back to the main path now, so I'm gonna put my camera away, get my head down, crack on, get back down to Coniston, to the coffee shop I spotted just on the outskirts on the way up. Have a sit down and have a coffee. So we'll catch you when we get back down there. Come on, Dora, there's a cake down here with your name on it. We eventually arrived back at the Coniston Park Coppice Caravan and Motor Home Club site. Absolutely shattered. What did you just tell me about that? No trees were harmed in the filming of that scene. Just my back. I need a new rubber tip. Sorry, what are you telling me? I need a new rubber tip. Why? Because my tips run out, look. It's run out? I've re nearly worn my tip out already. Look. Just so long as we are heading the right way. Otherwise, Dora back there. It's a bit, and no one needs that, do they? So 